What drew me to Family Medicine Residency of Idaho was the, the breadth of experience you can get here. You work from sort of birth to end of life and before. You're taking care of pregnant patients, uh, newborns and pediatric patients, adults. Uh, you're working in hospital and in clinic. You have a variety of procedural skills you can learn here. We have an opportunity to learn endoscopy and colonoscopy procedures. You learn to take care of patients that are pretty sick in the hospital. You learn how to prevent them from getting to the hospital by working in the clinic. We have an HIV cohort, a TB cohort, hepatitis C cohort. We have um, clinics that are based um, primarily for refugee care, women's care, children's care. Um, and, and I think the breadth of the training experience that we get here is really hard to match. Your life as a resident here, I would say, will be anchored around your continuity clinic. We actually have um, about eight clinics now, but we put residents at four of them. Our main hospitals are all very close to our clinic sites. So for travel time, it's just an easy city to live in. St. Luke's downtown, St. Al's downtown, St. Luke's in Meridian, and then probably the furthest flung hospital we have, St. Al's out in Nampa, are all easy striking distance for us for our core rotation sites. We work at the VA during our intern year, so the Veterans Administration Hospital, which is a smaller community hospital that's primarily resident run. And then I guess the other aspect is rural rotations. We have opportunities to go in different parts of the state during each year to do rural rotations. So you might be in a small community in you know, Cottonwood or Grangeville or in Orofino or all the way up north to Sand Point. So you see what is it like working in a small community and what does it look like when those patients then need to go to a higher level of care? And what does it look like when those patients need to be transferred to a higher level of care like an academic center for refined needs? So you get a picture of the entire health system from rural community all the way up through you know, what patients look like when they need to go to an academic center. Our emphasis is strong on inpatient medicine, um, and that's intentional. We think that even if you're going to be a clinic doctor in a medical home, you need to understand the complications that can happen from the routine or, and chronic conditions that you're treating in the clinic. We do an ICU rotation where you'll just focus on ICU medicine in addition to all your time on our family medicine inpatient service. We also do a, a high volume ER rotation there. It's a trauma center, it's level two trauma center. Center in Boise. And then meanwhile at downtown uh, St. Luke's, we run our PEDS and our OB services down there. We've been working to grow our OMT teaching for our DO residents as well as our allopathic residents. Um, and so in 2019, we actually applied for ACGME accreditation for our education and received recognition from the ACGME. Um, and what that means is that now we not only offer OMT clinics, but we have incorporated education about OMT and osteopathic principles and practices into a lot of our educational pieces, our inpatient service as well as our outpatient service. It's it's interesting that interns when they come in, they're a bit challenged because it's like a fire hose of information, you know, all the medical stuff you need plus all this patient information at the same time. But as you get to see a patient over um, multiple visits, you get to learn them, their family, their home context or social context, their clinical context. And I think it's that relationship you build over time, the confidence and trust that they get from you that allows you to make recommendations, they'll listen to you, follow through. Our grads graduate ready for inpatient medicine with that experience. They go into big communities as hospitals and they go into small communities as combined inpatient and outpatient doctors very easily. The nature of being in a place where there's not a lot of other residents competing for patient care activities gives you the opportunity to learn those, those things sort of in an unopposed manner. You know, being on the labor and delivery deck without a bunch of other OB residents means that you're gonna do more of the deliveries, you're gonna be involved in more of that care. There's an abundance of experience and you're really limited only by time and your imagination and your ability to choose which to pursue. To me, the residency is unique because of the people that are here. I have so loved and valued working here because I know that no matter when I was a resident or now that I've been a faculty, that if I needed something or was going through a tough time that I knew my other residents and faculty were here for me. There's a, a collegial environment here where people are supportive. You know, they're very, very well 
amenable to questions, to ideas. They're helping you learn. There's a teaching culture here, both among faculty and residents. And everybody's trying to help everybody else learn. It's a, it's a huge team. I have a bias, but I think we have the best faculty and staff of any program. Um, they go out of their way on countless occasions to support us, to teach us, and to give excellent patient care. One of the really cool things about residency training and, and something that's deep inside of us here is you're transitioning from medical school and having a lot of experiences set up for you and giving you exposure to really having ownership of patients, having ownership of situations uh, with support behind you. And I think that's going to open your mind and open you to recognizing um, how hard that is and how joyful that is. Um, and we see our residents grow in enormous ways with that responsibility, with that trust that we place in them to take care of folks. And I see residents who thought they had their vision worked out before they come here, who all of a sudden figure out, oh no, I'm actually headed in a different direction than I thought with this. This is, this is phenomenal. And I love still being part of those uh, journeys of self-discovery and, and hope to continue to do that for years to come with our faculty support here. Someone applying to this program should know a lot will be asked of you. You'll find strengths in yourself you didn't know. You will grow a lot as a person, but you'll be supported all along the way. If you're looking for a wide variety of clinical experience, if you really want to take care of people who need it, and you're open to working with a diverse group of patients from all walks of life, then this is a great place for you to learn. If you if you want to be the best family doc that you can and really be limited only by your ambition and, and sort of pursuit and personal interest, then this is the spot. Yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of places you can go, but you'll find that on, on your interview trail that no place really matches the fMRI.